Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here, and today we have another episode of Two Minute Marketing. Today's marketing problem we're solving is something that is quite insidious. It's something that can creep up on a business and actually really damage the results you get from marketing. Have you ever been on a website and tried to take an action, like filling out a contact form or progressing through a checkout process, only to find that whatever you were looking to do was broken and not working correctly or not working the way you would expect it to work? When this has happened to you in the past, did you hang around and try to fix the issue? Did you uh, let the webmaster or website owner uh, for that particular site know? Did you call them up or email them? Probably not. You probably just tried, it didn't work, and then you moved on and went to find another website that offers the same thing you were looking for. The harsh truth is that broken conversion actions really harm your business. If someone comes to your site and they look to do something like fill out the contact form and that action doesn't work how they expect it to work or it's just plain broken, then people are going to leave and they're going to go to your competitors and do business with them instead. So what's the solution to this problem? How do we fix it? Start by taking stock of the conversion actions you want visitors to complete when they come to your website. So go through your site and make sure that Pretty much anything you would want people to do, anything you think has commercial value for your business, make a note of what that is. Write it down on a piece of paper, put it in a spreadsheet, it doesn't really matter. Once you've taken stock of those conversion actions, make sure you test everything thoroughly. Make sure you test on multiple devices, multiple browsers, and really leave no stone unturned in the testing process. This might sound simple, it might sound a bit basic even, a bit silly, but it makes a really big difference when done correctly. One more quick tip is to set yourself a reminder to check in on your conversion actions on a frequent basis, at least monthly. By taking stock of your conversion actions on your website, making sure they work and fixing any that are broken, you're basically making sure that you're getting the maximum value possible out of your website and that you're not letting your marketing efforts go to waste. I hope you found this video helpful. I've got lots more content to come. Check out samfrost.co.nz for more advice.